Nadia Matos was at that symposium and joins us with the details. So Nadia, quick question, what was the turnout like at the meeting? Well, Ozzy, there were about 100 people there. That's because people are curious of what a high-speed rail would look like in Canada. This could be the future of transportation in Canada, the high-speed rail, like the ones common in Europe and Japan. That's if the people at the high-speed rail symposium in Kitchener have their way. Paul Andre LaRose has a PhD in physics and a fascination for trains. From a scientific point of view, railways make an awful lot of sense. Unfortunately, they've been highly shortchanged in our country. It's in part because of our car culture, says former Transport Minister David Collinette. It might be tough sell for many Canadians who will never use the electric train. The high-speed rail is only viable in this country between Quebec City and Windsor, through Montreal, Ottawa, Toronto, uh, or Calgary, Edmonton. A high-speed rail usually travels about 300 kilometers per hour and have reached speeds that topple that. Right now, a trip between Toronto and Montreal corridor takes about five hours on conventional rail. With a high-speed train, that time could be reduced by half. Advocates for the high-speed rail says its speed, smaller ecological footprint and safety are the reason why Canadians should consider it the future of getting around. It's really something that's, that's new to us, it's new to our thinking. But if we look at Europe and we say there's a society that's making the right investments, it's something we have to be thinking about. But as a price tag in the billions for just the Montreal-Windsor corridor, Canadians will have to look at any investment into a new rail system as long term. Now, if you're looking for more information regarding the symposium or even the high-speed trains, there's a website that might interest you. It's called High Speed Rail.